Hello! Today's lesson is about form and music. Form is a way to describe how a piece of music is put together. How is it constructed? So let's look at some examples. Uh, one is binary, so you have an A section, the music starts one way, and then at some point it changes and you get a B section, two sections. Another is ternary, similar to binary, but you have the repeat of the A section again at the end, so it, it comes back, A, B, A. Another example is strophic. Strophic is really common in some songs. So let's say you have different verses and maybe it's different stanzas of a poem. So the, the rhyme scheme is the same, the meter is the same, the only thing changing is the words, so it makes sense to keep the music the same. You sing the same thing over and over again, only thing changing is new lyrics each time. Through composed is another form, it's basically the opposite of strophic. So you start the song and all the way through to the end, you never get a repeat. It's brand new music all the way through. And one more example is theme and variations. So whatever theme you start with, they're going to repeat that again, but they're going to change some things. That's a variation. And then they would do another variation where they change it even more. And you can have as many variations as you want, and the music gets more and more complicated and changes more from the original. So today we're going to specifically talk about ternary form, A, B, A. Uh, it's pretty easy to recognize in the music because when you're listening, you're going to hear that contrasting B section where it changes. And then at the end, it's going to come back to that A section, and that's usually pretty easy to hear because your brain goes, hey, I've heard that before, that's familiar. If you're playing in a band or orchestra, you might not always know why a composer chose a certain style, but when you're singing a song in a choir, a good clue is to look at the lyrics. Because if you ask yourself, why did the composer do A, B, A form here? A lot of times it has to do with the meaning of the text. So maybe they're going through the poem and there's a new emotion and they want to convey that change, so they, they change the music there. And that can help you in your performance because it might change the way that you sing it so the audience understands that emotion a little differently. So let's look at, let's look at an example. This is a piece by Tchaikovsky. You might recognize his name because he wrote The Nutcracker. And this is a really short piano piece called March of the Wooden Soldiers. And the way they change the B section, it goes major for A, then to minor, and then back to major. And I said this is a short piece. It's only 45 seconds. So the first 15 seconds, you're going to hear bum, bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum, ba, da, dum. That's the major. And then the next 15 seconds, it switches to minor. Bum, bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum, ba, da, dum. So listen for that. And then you're going to get the return. Bum, bum, ba, da, dum. Back to the A. I bet you'll catch it. Let's take a listen. to the A. All right, so that's ternary form. You think you got it? If so, here's your challenge. Grab your brother, sister, mom, dad, call up a buddy, and you teach them about ternary form. Good luck. We'll see you.